Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> you guys are probably wondering, why are you so dolled up? Why are you so dressed up? Well, today, I'll be taking you guys on a solo day with me. <laughs> yes, I got pretty. I got dressed up all for myself. Not even sure if you guys can hear me because I'm on a rooftop right now. It's so pretty, right? Views, guys, views. But anyways, yeah. Today, I'm going to Jamaica Little Warehouse for a little me time. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you guys let me reach to 500 subscribers hopefully by the end of this video anyways hopefully by the end of this video i'll have at least 100 subscribers if you guys let me reach to 500 subscribers i'll get a new tattoo i'll get a new tattoo i'll bring you guys with me i'll let you guys meet my tattoo artist that does most of my tattoos like I'll bring you along with the experience, the pain, and everything. If you guys just get me to 500, 500 subscribers, like, I'd be ecstatic over the moon. So, please share and subscribe so you guys can come with me and get that tattoo. Anyways, please tell me why. One of my friends messaged me. She was like, oh my gosh, I love you. I love my man, bro. I like he cheated on me. Can we please normalize getting rid of people that just cheat on us? And it's not like regular, regular cheating. It's like having a full-on another relationship cheating. I'm sorry, but talking from experience, when someone cheats in a relationship, it's done. It's a done deal. You can say you love him and how you want to stay with him. I do not care how much money he gives you. I don't care how good the sex is. It's not worth it. It's not. Just just get rid of it. Please, leave him. Just leave him. There's so many people on this earth that you could be with. Be with someone who wants you 150%. Why, why are we normalizing half-assing relationships nowadays? Like, seriously. And then I think I saw somewhere else where people are like totally okay with their bona fide boyfriend, husband, whatever, having a mistress. And I'm just like, are you dumb? I'd rather be by myself before I'm okay with anyone having a mistress. Having a mistress is saying, oh, I'm okay with you maybe giving me a CD or maybe having a kid outside of marriage. It is not okay. Can we normalize having proper relationships? No cheating. And you know the sad and funny thing is, like when people come to me and like, oh, do you have kids? And I'm like, no, I want to get married first. They laugh at me. They laugh at me and be like, oh, that's not gonna happen. That's not the norm anymore. I love that society wants to do what they want to do, but I want to be married before I have a child. I want my children to grow around my husband loving me or me loving. I want them to grow and learn and watch how communication works, how trust works. Like how you're supposed to be loved. I don't want to be like, I know it's not a bad, um, what do you call it? It's not a bad thing to say, oh, I'm a baby mother, but I don't want that. I don't want to have kids and be like a single mom. There's a reason why two of you made a child. Two of you are supposed to grow that child up. I I get that there are people in this world who are super super strong and can do everything by themselves. Oh, I can work. I'm being, I can be a single mom or a single dad. That's not what I want. That's not how life was destined to be. Two of you are supposed to grow this child. 
it's not a one person job. So when people have and say, oh, you're not gonna get married first, it's not the norm. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it is my fucking life. And I want to be married first. There's just certain things with the relationship that just has died out because I don't even know why it's died out. But I know what I want. And I'm gonna get what I want. I'm gonna manifest it, pray for it. Whatever you guys want to call it, I'm gonna get it before I have kids. And also, yeah, so back to the like cheating thing. After you cheat in a relationship, the trust is gone. And if you don't have the trust, communication dies. I mean, while you're there, you're probably saying, oh, I'm gonna make this work. But the love or the emotions you had for that person is completely not there and eventually it just dies and it literally makes no sense but that's just my opinion you guys do what you want to do and i honestly can't tell people oh you need to leave your man you won't listen to this it's up to you when you're ready to leave you will leave but i think you guys should normalize I think you guys should normalize being in a healthy, proper relationship. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say on that. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Jamaica like a warehouse now. I'm super excited and I'm also super nervous because uh, the first time I'm doing this, I'm gonna be in public with my phone and my tripod stand, video and everything. So people are gonna be like, oh my gosh, she's, <coughs> she's recording and she's such a millennial. But yeah, something I'm super nervous about. No, this year is about making yourself uncomfortable to grow, I guess, or to make yourself better. So yeah. I don't think I explained to you guys, but Jamaica Liquor Warehouse is a liquor warehouse. But they have like this really small cute cafe. This is the menu. How it looks weird from this side of yeah. So self-care day. Well it's not a self-care day, it's like taking yourself home because if you don't know what it will. Um things to bring on a day by yourself. So you don't get bored or rush the food. By the way. <clears throat> One thing you should learn when you go to your son's store, wash your people and the cook. No rush the chefs, don't wash the waiters. Why the hell are you going to a restaurant if you didn't die for hungry? Have like a cracker before or something. And this is coming from a chef that has worked in the industry and is really tired of people rushing the food. Like, if it's a restaurant, Appetizers take up maybe 15 minutes. The entree, which is the main meal, probably takes about 45 minutes. It can be less, it can be more, depending on what it is. But the rest of the people, that it's annoying. I don't care who you be. Worse when you're pregnant, you know what kills me? Why are you pregnant and you're going to a restaurant dying for hunger? If you're pregnant, you're supposed to at least have snacks in your bag. So, you know, you munch on it here, you munch on it there until the food is ready. Don't be pregnant and go to a restaurant in the night on a Saturday. The busiest time for any restaurant at all. Like, that makes no sense to me. And then you're rushing the chefs to skip everybody else's order because you're incompetent. 
don't know if you don't like it. until I got, get the case for it. I already ordered it. I'm just waiting on it. Oh, I'm finally a book. Because the food might take long. Hopefully this let me get some personality. The only thing is I haven't eaten all day and this is the first thing. First the right thing that I'm gonna have. Wow. <laughs> That's actually good. Oh, this is a puzzle puzzle Mmm, that's really nice. <laughs> I'm so excited. Mm. Anyways, Cosmo, first drink. This is the first time I'm having this, by the way. It tastes like juice. I like alcohol that tastes like this. Give it a solid 10 out of 10. My little setup. It's so cute. So this is the waffle and chicken. This is the bacon mac and cheese. And this is the selfish fritters, I think, with the dip. Selfish fritters, yo, I'm so happy now. And my fat thing is done. And chips here as fuck. The waffle felt this makes sense. I'm so hungry, I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is so good. Mm. This sauce, A1. Tastes like tartar sauce. I'm not really sure hot sauce it came with so I'm gonna put it up selfish for time I'm moving the frizzles I give like a sauce I think it's gonna be crispy but the sauce 10 off of me that sauce is fucking good <laughs> Not my clothes eating the food. Oh, 
So I've never actually had like chicken and waffles before. Um, this smells so good. This smells so good. I wish I had more waffles. They couldn't. Now we're gonna try. Chicken and waffles. Give me a knife. Who eats with knife like this? Am I even using the knife? Is the right the knife should be in the right hand or I'm sorry about this food. Ten out of ten. <laughs> the waffles, the bacon, the fried chicken. Get ten out of ten. I don't know if I'm just hungry and tipsy as hell. It was high. It was high. This would be rigged, but everything's amazing. This is almost holding. It's so fucking good, I could die. You know the funny thing is, I've came here before, but it was like. <laughs> no space, huh? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> school and you didn't work and your parents gave you lunch money and you had to save up your lunch money to go to restaurants and because of that you could only order like one thing or two things and it was fucking depressing because the menu had like a bunch of shit on it and you want everything on the fucking menu now that i'm working and i have room i can buy what i want and i'm so grateful for that because there used to be times when in high school I had to buy one thing off the menu. So I decided that's so nice. But now I can buy three things. I can buy what I want. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna drink out the juice out of this. I order this every time I go out because it's just. So I try a new drink and then I order this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything is good. <laughs> Thank you. Or waitress to come by. Uh. Okay.
what me make I mean I think I have to go for one Great coming here. It's really good. I like 
like this one. He doesn't have any room to walk. He brought my doggy bag without me even asking. I guess he knew I couldn't finish his food, but it was amazing. I actually like when they give you your plate instead of going around. You probably saw me, I was like, this bitch can't eat all this food. <laughs> Let me get her doggy bag. That's hilarious. I'm done. I'm stuck. I'm gonna go home and sleep. Probably call my mom first because I'm too scared. I'm sending some <laughs> raunchy texts and then he's gonna laugh out. Laugh at me and be like, You're drunk, right? You're tipsy, right? Are you high? <laughs> no. No. I'm still beyond compared. Dead body settings. I bet it was tartar sauce by the way. I knew it. It was tartar sauce. And I asked for more. Can you see me through the, the window? Oh, you can't. But I can see myself. But yeah, this is the view. Smashed. Smashed. Wow. That's intense. That's fucking intense. I love it. Is this their ice cream? Cause this doesn't taste my bad. I give it a nine. Everything is just so good. 
Thank you. I actually finished it. That's what's killing me right now. It's almost done. Look at it. It's almost done. Good job. Good job. You know how much the damage is? It's like so cheap. Well, <laughs> for everything I ordered, I think it's cheap. I'm not saying it is, but I expected it to be more. This is damage. This is damage. Totally worth it. This experience was amazing. Food was amazing. Privacy, top notch. <laughs> I am very happy I did this. It was so fun. There was no one here to stare at me, even though there were people like passing by and be like, oh my gosh, hi, whatever. Yeah. But that it was a really good experience. I had a lot of fun. I'm gonna go home and sleep. And edit this video. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys so much. And hope you enjoy this video. Stay. Oh, I post videos almost every week while I'm trying to. So please subscribe and look for the video every new food videos, whatever it may be. This video, I think I love, love, love. I'm gonna edit it as best as I can. It was just perfect. Jamaica Liquor Warehouse Cafe, by the way, gave me a solid 10 out of 10. Amazing. Service, amazing. Food, amazing. Privacy, amazing. Loved it. Appreciate it. Great. By the way, yeah, I think that's it. Bye, guys.